Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Portsmouth Road to Glory. Couple of updates for you within the team. In terms of their pictures and stuff like that, you know I'm OCD about it. Rogers, we've given him an in-game picture. And actually, this was really funny. When I scouted Stevenson for the first time, I thought he looked like a 28-year-old, a 30-year-old even. So I've given him a bit of a younger-looking face. I haven't changed what Day looks like. He's exactly the same. Of course, we're still waiting on some training to be complete as well. Close is going to be a central midfielder very soon. Uh, what else have I done since the last episode? I think that's it. I, I, I just changed a few pictures, basically. Um, although, one thing I am doing as well is converting all my wingers to... Well, all my wide midfielders, I should say, to wingers. So, Curtis will be a left winger because I am changing formation. The 4-2-3-1 has been bothering me a little bit that the wingers don't seem to get forward enough. Um... Well, I shouldn't say I'm changing formation. What I'm doing is I'm changing the positions within the formation. I did not mean to just back out there. So, for example, I had him on left mid. And actually, that gives you different player instructions. So if he's left mid left mid like he is now, his instructions here are going to be different compared to if he was a winger. So what I'm going to do is convert him to a left winger, which is fine. You know, he still can play as a winger, of course. I'm just going to convert him properly. And actually, when you convert a left mid to a left wing, they actually gain shooting. And, and I, I think they're a bit more attacking focused in the training drills, whereas a left midfielder could be a bit better passing. And, and I, I don't know, it just seems to make more sense to go with wingers. So we will be doing that. And you'll see here that his instructions will have changed now a little bit. You get, I think, one extra. Um, but either way, Curtis, I want him to be um, cutting inside, really, coming short. Because I want him to come towards the ball and then take the ball through centrally almost to cut inside an inside forward or an inside winger. That's basically what I want. Um, do I want him to come back to help defend? No. So we're going to get him to stay forward. And we'll do the same on this side here. Although Wilkes is actually very good out wide as well. He can do a bit of both. However, I think because, because I want him to cut inside as well, maybe I'll just go with balanced. Hmm. No, we're going to go with cut inside for now. Come short and um, stay forward. That's that's what we're going to do now. So as you know, we, we finished the transfer window. We no longer have any chance to sign players, sell players. This is the team we've got until January. We're going to kick off the next few games. Coming up, we've got Gillingham. Um, and then we've got, God, I need to learn some of the badges again. It's been a while. I think that's Rochdale. Then it's Plymouth, Wigan, Fleetwood, and we've got Millwall as well. So some pretty tough games coming up. We actually played Gillingham in the last episode, didn't we? Was it a three-all draw? I think it was three-all. Absolutely mental. Unfortunately, we're not going to have our first team goalkeeper. Ward is going to come in because Matt Gillivray is out on international duty. Did I say that right? Matt Gillivray, I think it might be. McGlivery. It's a bit of a, a bit of an interesting one. Um, otherwise, I don't think I'm going to change the lineup. Stevenson is going to stay at Cam. Rogers has been a revelation since he joined, so it does mean that Harrison is dropped to the bench. And off we go here at Fratton Park. Cannot wait to get this game underway and get back to winning ways. Of course, that last game against Gillingham was not a league game; it was a cup game. So that's absolutely fine that we got the draw. And uh, it's not going to affect our league table position. At the moment, you probably would have seen it. Uh, we're top. We are winning the league right now. So I don't know if that means we're going to be favourites to win the title. Of course, my objective is to win the title. That's what the club want me to do. That's not, an, not a very good ball. We've got a corner from it somehow. But yeah, if they want me to win the league, I've got to. I've got to. I need to keep my manager rating up nice and high. That's a great ball. We have almost scored straight away. It's off the bar. That was an incredible reaction save from the keeper to keep that one out. Wow. Got to be careful here. He's going to play it inside. Here's Magoma saved by Ward. By the way, Ward is on loan. So we will have to think about bringing in another goalkeeper at some point for next season. I might try and sign a free one. A player that's coming to the end of his, uh, his current contract. Is that going to be a good pass? No, it's not. But Ward looks like a good keeper. Maybe we could explore options of just buying him. Well done, Day. Got there just in time. He is going to be such a good player for us. He could be one of those players that's here from beginning to the end. You know, he really could be very, very good for us. Here is Curtis into Rogers. I'm just going to go running here. We know how quick he is. Going to go with the finesse shot. You are kidding me, right? 
I've already hit the bar, and now I've hit the post as well. Or was this the bar, the bar again? I think it, it was the post. Oh, wow. What the hell is that? Oh, well, now they've hit the post. <laughs> that first touch was awful. Absolutely awful. And they almost scored from it. What a first half. Just crazy. I've not really been able to get Wilkes involved too much. See if we can get him through the middle here. Oh, that's a foul for sure. Can we take it quickly? Nope, we're not going to be able to. Let's just pass this one short to Day. Give that to Wilkes. This could be good. Oh, hang on. Cross coming in now. Go on. Go on. Yes! Rogers makes it 1-0. And it's an assist from Stevenson. They are going to combine a lot this season. I can already tell. They are going to be scoring a lot of goals and assisting a lot of goals for each other. Love that. What a cross. Absolutely beautiful. Just turned back, chipped it in. This is a great header from the young man. He's six foot two, by the way. He is going to be very good in the air, as well as with the ball at his feet. He's just an all-rounder. We could be in again here. If we can make it 2-0 straight away, that would be brilliant. Here's Wilkes again. Into the captain, Naylor. Into Stevenson. It isn't 2-0. It is very close, though. So, so close. How close was it, though? I mean, he's got to be doing much, much better there. But come on. He's 63 rated. Oh, that's a good ball. Come on, get a tackle in. Day's getting back. Oh, he's taking him out. He's, he's not even giving a foul for that. The referee loves us. Thank you so much. And now Rogers in behind. It's a lovely ball from Harness. I don't think we're going to keep it, though. Oh, go on. Come on. Get forward. Someone help me. There's no support there. Honestly, we could easily make that 2-0 if we all get forward. We're going to concede now as well, aren't we? Oh, no. Oh, what a save. Not an own goal, though. <sighs> wow. That was a little bit too close. Way too close for comfort. We are holding on for our dear life right now. So many chances for Gillingham. Oh, is that a foul this time? No, the referee is going to play on again. I'm so glad I paid him before the game started. Here's Harness now. Going to play that through for Wilkes. Are we going to get another goal? Into Harness again. Surely he's going to finish it. Go on. Yes, game over. 2-0. And that is three points. We needed that. There were parts in this game, especially in the last kind of 15 minutes, where I could have very easily conceded. But instead, it looks like I will hold on to the whim and get the clean sheet as well. Harness on this left side is actually better than Curtis. And Curtis at Cam seems to be really good as well. We could make it three here. Go on, Wilkes. Finish it. Oh, it almost was. Good save from the keeper. But yeah, maybe I should convert Harness to a left winger. And Curtis to a Cam. I, I, I don't know. We'll explore that option at some point. By the way, Cannon came on as well. He has been superb. Really like Cannon at central midfield. But that is the full-time whistle. And it is indeed three points and a clean sheet. Very happy with that. Even though we're outside the window, of course, we can still make offers and receive offers. I'm not going to do anything, though. I'm not going to be selling Minoga. He is a good young player that we will definitely be having part of our plans in the next few seasons, for sure. Although he's only, what, 58 rated, was it? If you look at his stats, though, he's really quick, decent stamina, good strength. He could be very good as a centre-back, to be fair, but I've been using him as a right-back more than anything. Um, I'm just trying to think now, is there is there any... Because now that I'm, what, let's say I've played 10 games so far, is there any players that I'm just not rating, I'm not enjoying? Um, I don't think so. I think I like them all. I think there isn't a player that I've regretted not selling, if that makes sense. We've got a healthy amount of competition for positions... I'm feeling pretty good, but of course things will change. As we get to January, there might be certain players that I think need to be changed. Moving on into our next game. We are using the first team here against Rochdale away from home. They are currently bottom of the league. And I think it's probably a good thing to use the match sim every now and again. We have not started well here. We've had no shots. They've had more possession as well. Hopefully we'll still win this game. We should be winning against Rochdale really. But yeah, I don't want season one to go on forever. So there will be some match simulation. I know you guys maybe don't like it as much. We're 1-0 down. Oh my God. Obviously, I can jump in. I, I can try and get back in these games if we're struggling. But I have faith in the team. I reckon we're still going to win this. Maybe now we'll get one back. Oh, there it is. Straight away. One all. 
And it's Stevenson. What a season he's having already. I love him. What a player. In the second half here. Can we get a second goal straight away? Come on. Go on, Wilkes. Yes, it is. It's 2-1. We were dominated in the first half, but we've come out in the second half with clearly a plan, and that is to destroy Rochdale. Come on. Oh, no, we've let them in. Oh, what a save that is. That could be a game-winning save. I've made three changes now, by the way, which includes Harrison up front. So Rogers is off. We've got 20 minutes left. I'm so grateful that shot didn't go in. Yeah, there it is. Game over. Curtis, who is now moved to Cam to put Harness on the left, makes it 3-1. This is definitely game over. I don't think Rochdale are going to score two goals to get a draw, and they definitely won't score three to win this game. Good performance. We just we started off so badly. This was an Arsenal performance. Terrible first half, much, much better second half. There we go. Blow the whistle. Done. I'll take that. 3-1. Three, Three points. We will still be top of the league. Get in there. Right, so... Matt Gillivray wants a new contract by the looks of it. He says it's been really going really well recently. You know how happy I am playing for you, playing for this club. I just wondered if it might be a good time for us to talk about renewing our contract or the contract. So um, why not? You know, he's 69 rated. I think that makes him the highest rated player in the team. So it does make sense to do that. He's 27 as well. He isn't even in his prime for a goalkeeper. Uh, 10 months remaining on his contract. It is definitely worth redoing this renegotiating so he's on 3800 I think we can easily give him probably four and a half upwards but maybe maybe he'll walk away from that and be angry so we'll go with 5000 and he'll take it a two-year extension crucial squad role 5000 no release clause we're going to go ahead and accept it and that is a done deal he's worth 1.1 million is that is he the most expensive player we've got no, of course not. Wilkes, Curtis, Watmer, Rogers, Byers, Harness, Johnson, Cannon are all more expensive than him. But he is the highest rated player in the team, right? Let's just double check that. Uh, same as Curtis, who is now 69. He's gone up by one. Just before we go into the game against Plymouth, which is going to be a, a pretty tough one, we now can change Close's position. He can, he can be a central midfielder now. So let's go ahead and do that. His rating should go up. Whoa, straight up to 68 rated. Get in there, although it doesn't actually mean anything. His stats are still the same. It just means he is better suited to central midfield than CDM. I'm not sure why he was a CDM. He is definitely better going forward than he is defensively. For this one, Cannon makes a start. I have dropped Naylor. Captain Naylor is not starting this game. He's a great player, but I really enjoyed Cannon. I think him and Close could actually be... Very good together. They're both kind of, I wouldn't say short, but, you know, they're, they're definitely more short than Naylor. And he's, uh, well, a bit slow. So having Cannon and Close, they're a bit more agile. Uh, I think they will ultimately be the partnership I go with maybe from next season onwards. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I do really like Naylor, though. He's, he's a good passer. That's what I like about him. His passing is very good. Here's Wilkes. Off to a good start here. I'm just going to go with a right-footed cross. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, just about cleared out. Here we go. We're going to score here. Come on. Rogers. No, he couldn't get to the ball to shoot. Close. Very, very close. Let's take this throw as soon as we can. Give that to Stevenson. I'm going to turn back. Give it to Rogers. Again, turn back. Oh, no. Ameson was really quick to react there. That was good defending. Oh, I thought I made a good tackle. Didn't quite work. But Johnson steps in. There you go. And now let's get on the break. Here is Stevenson. I'm going to put it through for Morgan. Yeah, you're not going to catch him. Surely not. I'm going to give it to Wilkes, though. Can he finish it? Yes, he can. 1-0. 25 minutes in. Perfect start. Plymouth are actually a very, very decent team. So to get an early goal, very, very happy with that. This game is going so quickly. We're already 30 minutes in. 38, sorry. And he's in here. This is not good. Pull the keeper out. Oh, my God. That happens way too often. My goalkeeper saving me. No way I've given it straight back. Oh. I can't believe it. <laughs> Why did I pass that one out? Just shocking. One all right before halftime as well. Go on, let's get another one. 
just before we do go in for the break. Here we go. Come on. Back post for Curtis. Go on. Oh, my God. Go on. <laughs> Uh, I don't think the keeper knew really what was going on there. I don't think it was going in, but he, he poked it out for a corner. Oh, my. This is actually insane. How many times have I almost scored from one of those corners? How many times has it gone wide or hit the post or hit the bar? It's becoming a bit of a joke. Oh, Daniels is a mile out of position. Don't concede here. No, where was Daniels? What are you doing? You're the most experienced player on the pitch. Ex-Premier League player, what's going on? He's miles out of position. Look at him, he's basically a central midfielder. Oh, I cannot believe it. We almost stopped it. But no, it is 2-1. Right, we're in trouble here. This could be our first loss in the league. Come on, Cannon. Into close. Never mind, it's Stevenson. Over to Curtis. Can it be two all? Nope, it's saved. Okay, I'm going to make some changes now. We need to. I'm putting Harrison in for Rogers. I think Stevenson's going to have to come out. We're going to do the, the same change we've been doing recently. So harness out on the left. Cam spot for Curtis. Um, Daniel's mm, not having a great game, but it is what it is. Um, do you know what? I'm going to go with Naylor. Let's bring in Naylor. See if he can help us out in midfield a little bit. Here he is now. Play that one through for Harrison. Oh, here we go. On this left side. Oh, that's a bad ball. Luckily, we've still got it. Into harness again. With his left foot. Oh, my God. That was a big chance. They're in again here. Oh, my God. Should be three. I think we're going to lose this, guys. I think, unfortunately... We just don't have enough to win this game. We can maybe rescue a point. But we are running out of time. It's not looking great at the moment. Here's Hardy. Plays it out wide to Grant. Is he going to go for a cross? Nope, it's FIFA 21, remember. <laughs> they don't do crossing in FIFA 21. Oh, no, never mind. They do, and they score from it. Oh, that's kind of annoying, guys. Our first loss in the league. Plymouth have bested us at home. This, he, yeah, this, this hasn't been good at all. Really, really poor. I've just let him walk into the box and cross it. Daniels has lost his man. I don't know. It's it's not gone well. It really hasn't gone well. It's funny because I don't feel like I've actually played too badly. I just have not defended well. Um, but then again, I should have scored more. So, yeah. It is one of those games, isn't it? Unfortunately, there's going to be three minutes added on, but this is done. There's no chance we're going to be able to pull anything back. We won't even get a goal at this rate. It could get worse. They could make it 4-1 if they cross this one in. I think they probably will. No, nope, we've got a tackle in. Well done, Day. Let's just hit that one up the pitch, and that will be the end of the game, unfortunately. Very disappointing result. We both had six shots. They had six shots on target out of those six shots, and I had two on target. So I think... That says it all, really, but um, that's okay. We're joint top now with Charlton Athletic on 21 points, but Plymouth have closed the gap quite a bit. They're on 17 points now. I don't know if I want to look at this. Leko's scout report is back. He is 67 rated. Okay, I think we did the right thing in the end. We went for Rogers, uh, a younger player that shows real promise. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not bothered. That's fine. By the way, talking of Rogers, he is now a striker. It is done. We can go ahead and convert him. He stays 64 rated. Uh, but now I want to increase his, well, his shooting and his passing are, are both something I need to improve. So maybe we go with complete striker just to make sure that he's not just a goal scorer, but also he can make goals. And that's going to improve his weak foot as well, which you can't go wrong with really. Now it's time for Wigan. I cannot believe they are struggling in League One. They used to be a Premier League side. It's unbelievable, really, isn't it? And we've had another player finish development. It looks like a lot of them have. Yeah, all of these guys that I asked to change from wide midfielder to winger. We've got um, Harness converted to a right wing, but now I've changed my mind with him. I want him to be a left wing, so that's going to take two weeks. Uh, then we've got Curtis. He is now a left winger as well. Goes up to 70 rated. It's official. Our first 70 rated player. And then we've got Jacobs as well. And he is going to be 69 rated. He's okay. He's, he's nothing special. I'm not sure he's going to be one that I keep for the future. 
Um, he might be included in a swap deal or something like that in January. We'll see. Wait, we're the joint top scoring team. Really? Have we scored 18 goals in the league? Blimey. That's gone really quickly. It doesn't feel like that. I honestly feel like I've scored maybe 10. But either way, guys, we've gone with a strong team again. Naylor comes back in as captain. But also, I'm starting Curtis at Cam. I've dropped Stevenson for this one. And Harness is playing on that left side because he has actually been very good for us. Woo! That was almost a terrible start. Nice bit of space here for Rogers. Go on, Wilkes. Try and get him in behind. He's got such a powerful run on him. Look at him go. Gonna dink it into the box. Curtis is there! It is 1-0. I like him at Cam. I really do. I think it's going to be his best position, potentially. I, it's annoying that I've got Stevenson there, though, isn't it? Because I, I want to use Stevenson and Curtis at Cam. I just haven't been able to get the best out of Curtis on that left side. I don't know what it is. It could be just me. It could be a bit of unlucky games. I, I don't know. But we're 1-0 up. And our golden boy, technically, he is the, the, the most important player and the highest rated player in the squad. Oh, this isn't good. Is he offside? He's not offside. Oh, what a tackle. What a tackle. Let him know you're there, right? <laughs> I'm here and I'm not letting you get that cross in. Clear it out. Oh, it's going to cross the goal. That wasn't nice. Oh, look at that. Rogers is completely open. Go on, hit it. From there, why not? Oh, God. Why did I do that? These guys are not 90 rated, Matt. Like, come on. Wamangi Tuka probably wouldn't score that. Yes, look at the space we've got on this right side. Play it into Rogers. Go on, son. Oh, that was close. He's still going here. He has to finish that. Get in there. It's 2-0. We are on fire right now. Love it. Rogers is some player. I thought about sweating it. I thought about laying it off to the other side for, I think it was Harness, but no. Nope. I've gone solo, and I don't regret it because now it's 2-0. That might be enough to win the game. You know, I, I don't think we're going to struggle now. Go on, let's make it three before half time. Really kill this game off. Go on, Wilkes over the top. Oh, it's not a great pass. Win that header. Oh, the rest blowing his whistle there. Yeah, this was a solid 8 out of 10 performance so far. And we look like we're going to be getting back to winning ways, which is what we needed. I think I've decided the next area to improve in is definitely left back. I think that's my weakest position on the pitch for sure. I mean, I'm not saying that it's vital that we do it because we won't win the league without a better left back. I don't think it's that bad. But it definitely is a position we need to improve at some point. I'm going to cross that over to Harness here. Whip it in. Oh, go on, Morgan. No. I don't know why I keep calling him Morgan. It's Morgan Rogers, isn't it? I keep calling him by his first name. But yeah, I need to, I think in January, invest in a left back. Maybe we can swap Jacobs, a winger that I'm just not using, for a left back. Maybe that's, that's the direction we go in. Play this inside. This should be 3-0. Rogers is through. Can he finish it? No. Jones saves it. That was a terrible shot. I went with the low left corner finesse. It wasn't a good idea. Should have just walloped it, shouldn't I? Cross comes in. Oh, go on. We can win that. Go on. Keeper punches it. Try and get across with his left foot again. Oh, my God. <laughs> he almost deflected and went in. Stevenson is on now. And so is Harrison. Put the ball through for Harness, who's picked up an injury. Okay, I don't want to sprint too much with him and make it worse. Here is Stevenson. Plays it backwards here to Naylor. Into Harrison. Oh, I've just ran into trouble there. I'm a little bit concerned about Harness. I hope that's not a serious injury because he's actually been very, very good for us recently. Oh, I could be in trouble here. That was Gooch, wasn't it, from Sunderland? The good old Sunderland career mode. I love it. And this... This series reminds me of it so much because obviously we're, we're going a very similar direction. That was another very good save. Honestly, right, Wigan have had enough chances to get a draw from this game, but their finishing has not been good enough and our goalkeeper has been brilliant. In, in behind here for Harrison. Is he going to get anything from this? I think we're going to have to pass it into the box. Here is Wilkes. Into Stevenson, who does make it 3-0 in injury time. We don't need to watch that again. Let's put Wigan out of their misery. Get this game over and done with. We're going back to the top of the league, hopefully. Let's take a look, shall we? We are top of the table, but it is, again, level on points and goal difference. Wait, we've lost two games. Oh, my God. I thought that was my first loss earlier, but it wasn't, was it? I'm going insane. 
Uh, Charlton are still unbeaten. The only reason they are not top is because they've drawn three games. So our record is as follows. 10 played, 8 wins, 0 draws, 2 losses. We've scored 21 goals. We've only conceded 11, which is not great, though, to be fair. If you look at some of the other teams, Doncaster have conceded 5. So we definitely need to improve defensively. I think a new left back will really help with that. But 24 points from 10 games. I'm very, very happy with that. Thank you so much for watching this episode. And I'll see you tomorrow for another one.